All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, guys, I'm going to do a quick five to six minute reaction for both games. Australia <clears throat> for Indonesia nil. So it's May 80s from 4 So today, guys, we'll give your Asian Cup reaction. So Australia for Indonesia nil. Australia, man. This is what I want to see. Australia put out a dominant win. Australia put out a dominant win on the day, and they were the much better team. Indonesia, for me, didn't really create anything. I mean, they had five shots, one on target. And it was always going to be a... <clears throat> it was always going to be difficult for Indonesia to get anything from this game. Um, Australia, the first half, though, weren't really that great. They did get the own goal there from Bagot. <clears throat> a great, great cross in from the box there. And yeah, let me just uh, talk about the goal real quick. So yeah, 11th minute of the game, own goal. Here, Vines does possess of the ball, but he managed to run onto it, taking it into the box, takes a shot on the goal, but takes a flexion from Bagot to make it 1 0. Then Boyle scores a second goal. With a great, great pinpoint pass to the box as boy reads into the well, heads into the net from the back post. Yeah, it was a great, great pass. Great, great finish there. Great header there, I believe. 2 0. Then the third goal, man. Gooding scored, man. Um, drives the shot in. Of course, Gooding, who kicks the bottom left corner. And then the fourth goal was scored by Sutar from the set piece there. So for Indonesia, man, it was always going to be difficult for them to get anything from this game. Uh, Australia were obviously the better team. And Indonesia just weren't great, honestly. You know, they were clinical in the day. Australia, they converted their chances. And you can see how dominant they were. They had seven shots, four on target, three of which threw goals. Obviously, they had their own goal as well. And for Indonesia, as I said, man, not good enough, man. Not good enough. And shout out to uh, Chris, uh, Craig Goodwin, who came off the bench 87 minute, got a G a goal and an assist. So I think for Australia, bigger test lie ahead because I believe the winner, of the, I believe they play either Saudi Arabia or South Korea. We'll see who they play against in the quarterfinals because that should be an intriguing matchup. And uh, we'll get to that. Um, in do, uh, we'll get to that, of course. Um, so when do they play that quarterfinal match? I actually just want to look at this real quick and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the top of the UE game. So as you can see right guys, so they'll be playing on February 2nd and that's going to be at... 10 30 a.m 10 30 a.m my time so that's going to be very interesting so that's going to take place on friday i believe that's this coming friday that's friday so that's good to see good to see we're going to move on to the other game we got here it is tajikistan one ue one tajikistan man the fairy tale continues for this team and they once again this team defy the odds to make it to the quarter finals and for me man tajikistan were the better team for most of this game i don't honestly think look at the amount of chances they had um they were just so dominant. And look at the first, and look at it in general. 16 shots, 6 on target. That goal from Tajikistan, man. Great, great goal there. Um, the 30th minute, great, great cross in from the box from Duzeb, the center back. Makes a great, great cr cross to Hano, who scored the header there. And yet, for me, Tajikistan missed a lot of chances this game. Now, to be fair, UEE also did miss their chances as well. I think UEE had a good flurry amount of chances in the second half. I think Paulo Bento did make the... I think UEE did improve in the second half, but that first half was not good. That first half wasn't great. Um... They could have done better in the final third. And you, and like I said, man, they were just clinical, you know. And this Tajikistan team defensively is very solid. So the second half, though, um, Tajikistan came alive. They played a lot better. They had 23% possession. UEE finally just scored the equalizer there right at the end. The stoppage time, Hamadi scored the set piece there. Um, obviously, Salah Sali got the assist there. And then an extra time, man. Um, both teams were pretty defensive extra time. I think they were, the, they were pushing for penalties. And one thing I want to question for UE is where the heck is um Ali Magboot? <clears throat> because if you look at right here, guys, Ali Magboot wasn't in on the bench. He wasn't even in the substitution. He wasn't in the squad. So was he just like frozen out? I just don't know what happened because he, for me, is one of the most integral players to this team. And you could see that UE just really missing that guy because this Kayo guy is just not in for a striker. I just don't think Kayo is good enough at striker. Um, he was not good on the day. And I think UE, they needed more younger players to step up, you know? And I think they had this young kid who I think was great in the group stage. I forgot his name. I think he was injured for this game, and that was a big, big blow. And so it went to penalties. And obviously, Kayo missed the penalty. It was a terrible penalty from him. You know, goes to the right, tries to, um, you know, do it. And obviously, um, Yemetev read him. And um, yeah, Tajikistan, man, their penalties were amazing, especially that first one. That first one was amazing, the fifth one as well, I believe. So UEE, man, very disappointed to go out of the round of 16 on this kind of manner, especially having a world-class coach like Paulo Bento. You know, he's a great coach, man. We know what he did with South Korea in the last World Cup. You know, got South Korea to the round of 16. And yeah, UAE, man, they had their chances here and there. Um, like I said, in the second half, they they were good. I think they had one chance. They almost scored. Um, they hit the post, I believe, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I mean, I think Tajikistan, man, they deserve this, man. They deserve this. They were the much better team. Defensively solid. Their attack was good. But my one issue I have with Tajikistan is that they just got to improve in the final third. They, I really feel like this team has a hard time in scoring. So... 
They're going to be playing the winner of, I believe, the winner of Iraq versus Jordan. So that's going to be interesting. So let's see who wins between Iraq and Jordan because I personally believe Iraq's going to win. So that Tajikistan-Iraq game could be very interesting. And uh, we could have ourselves a very good semi. We could have ourselves a very interesting semifinal. But we're, anyways, we're going too far ahead. So shout out to Tajikistan. They played their game. They had a great game plan. And the coach, Petr Segaret, man, a lot of people call him like Albert Einstein. He definitely looks like Albert Einstein with the way he's dressed and appears. But yeah, very UAE, man. Very disappointing for them, man, to go out in the round of 16. They were one of the big, they, you know, considering they went to the semifinals the last edition to wow out this early in the round of 16, it's a bit disappointing. And yeah, man, I, I thought UAE would at least make the quarters, you know. And um, I'm not too surprised they lost this one. I kind of expect, because I did say in my preview that there could potentially be an upset here. And I wasn't really that impressed with UAE in the group stage. So I'm not that surprised that Tajikistan did this, but it's a bit disappointing to lose out of this manner because, you know, you have to give credit to Tajikistan, especially when they went and they can see the last minute goal. You think so Tajikistan would lose us mentally. Like the mental battle is on UE side, but, you know, instead they pushed, they kept persevered and that didn't defy them. And, you know, so shout out to Tajikistan, man. They're in the quarterfinals for the first time in their history. Their very first Asian Cup. What a fairy tale this is. Shout out to Tajikistan, man. The fairy tale continues. And congrats to Australia, man. So thank you guys for watching today's match reaction. If you guys enjoy, everyone guys like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.